the technology that originally stemmed from uh, a paper that was written in the 1950s by a gentleman named Dr. Gordon M. Fair, who talked about using a pipe within a pipe. So at that time, particularly in the Northeastern United States, there was a lot of big, very old gravity pipes that were out there. And there was a general understanding that eventually those pipes would have to be replaced. So the thought initially, and it, it came out of Harvard University originally, uh, was to put a small pipe within a larger pipe that's already there and just utilize that as a conduit, if you will. That methodology unto itself proved to be impractical because uh, there's just no predictability when it comes to working with an existing old infrastructure, right? So that idea was kind of tabled, circulated around academic circles uh, for a number of years. And then in the mid 1960s, the American Society of Civil Engineers decided that uh, they wanted to really get serious about eliminating uh, storm water overflows and combined sewer overflows uh, that came from aging gravity sewer systems. So they, they started to take a look at this concept once again and decided there was some validity to it. And really what they were looking at at that time was just small diameter pressurized sanitary. And they gave it to, um, as I said, the American Society of Civil Engineers originally was evaluating it, and they gave it to General Electric to come up basically from a research and development standpoint with a way uh, to bring it to market or just uh, expand its adoption, if you will. So GE looked at it and a team of engineers came up with the concept of grinder pumps uh, utilizing small diameter networks of pressure pipe and decided that, you know, yeah, it's, it's an idea that will work, but the market just wasn't right for it at that time. So the original R&D uh, professionals that were working for GE at the time saw a market opportunity that GE wasn't willing to get it behind uh, back then. And they decided to take it to market because they saw the potential that it had, not only for septic, existing septic, failing septic abatement, uh, it had a, a really clear potential environmental benefit, but also had the idea in mind that builder developers could also use it to bring, uh, introduce sewer in a much more costly fashion. And the, the municipal part of the business is what gained traction first, the septic abatement part of it, and the, the builder developer market kind of followed that in time.